I want to show you how to get a head start when it comes to buying into altcoins. I think people are doing it wrong. So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the bell button and leave a like. Now, as you've probably seen by the thumbnail, I think people are doing this wrong and this is what I typically teach in terms of my learning crypto courses and stuff like that in terms of buying that lowest point of an altcoin in the BTC pair. Now, the dominance chart, alt season, all kinds of those little buzzwords that we like to talk about are important. They are timing of the market in terms of when to put your money into altcoins, when not to, when to hold Bitcoin, when not to, all that good stuff, right? There's all times of different variables. The reason why I'm talking about this is because there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of tweets going around that this is alt season, this is alt season, this is alt season, jump in. When in reality, I've been talking about this since January, when dominance was over 67, 80 into 74% levels. It's crazy. And this is what's happened since. Now, this is the monthly chart on, on the screen. The monthly, right? Looks crazy, looks mental. And what we want to do, and this is where the game is, and I want to explain, and there's different sort of confluence markers with this, why it's important. And I will analyze other coins to show you how to make Bitcoin essentially. So stick around. I'm going to go through some right doozies. Now, in terms of last year, monthly chart, this was the DeFi moon rush, right? Where we went from 1 billion to 40 billion locked up very, very quickly. It was crazy. Oracles went nuts. It was mental, right? And this is where we are right now. What we've had over the last few days has been big cap coins going boof, pop right huge return so moving down to the weekly time frame you can see progressively boom 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 now moving on into the three day chart again you can see it is just savagery now you can be as simple as i want to hold bitcoin when it's above the moving average 21 or i could be out and into all coins in that period again 66 percent. now you need to get in in my opinion anyway it's not financial advice the higher this is, you need to be using Bitcoin to buy those altcoins in BTC at the lows. Forget about USD. That is the most important thing. So let's look at this. Blockchaincenter.net has an altcoin index. You've probably seen it on Twitter. Now there's a game on this game and the game is fun. It's timing, right? You do not in my opinion, ape into altcoins when it is high because I think the reward isn't as big. Yes, it may go parabolic, but over the last two, three months, as I've kind of explained, I've had some really nice moves in the market, right? We've been progressively and I will show you on the charts. The game is you should be buying the undervalued altcoins when it's Bitcoin season, when they're getting slaughtered, when they're low, when your Satoshis are on the deck. Now, on this video, you should be buying, in my opinion, in Bitcoin for this to work. If you do it in USD, it doesn't really matter as much. Why? Because you're going to go with the flow of Bitcoin. But if you buy your altcoins at the wrong time, you're going to lose out. And I'll show you in a minute why. So when this is down in this under 25 zone, you should be looking at buying altcoins. Why? Because in that period of time, we're up here. We're up there. Dominance is high. Bitcoin's battering everything. Makes sense. Oh, but I'm making USD. It doesn't matter. You want to make Satoshis. Sometimes when this is flying up like this, it's better to just hold Bitcoin because at the end of the day, your old coins are based in Satoshis. At the end of the day, there's only one that is USD. That is Bitcoin. Remember that. So how does it look on the, on the grand scheme of things? Now, this is Litecoin, right? Visual chart. If you activate Bitcoin on here and go to year to date, you can see in a period of time here when, you know, essentially when you look at it, if you even if you were holding Litecoin, yes, you're making USD in the green, but you're losing Satoshi's all the way down. And if finally from the 1st of April, 31st of March, whatever, it's finally woken up. Yes. So it's starting to catch up now. There's loads of these examples. So if I look again, I'll look at Polkadot. Now Polkadot, another one. Go to the year chart, see what we've got. Looks amazing. But there's been times where it's been more progressive holding it 
and having it in the BTC because it's more aggressive as, as you can see push it up pull back and it's relatively level there's other ones as well I'm trying to remember some off the top of my head um, let's have a little look let's I'll do randomly that's actually we'll do Neo because that's had a big move recently go to year to date pretty aggressive move over the last year and there's been times where it has been losing loads of satoshis when the usd has been pretty low and obviously went below it at one point so it's important to know that now on the chart if you go to say let's look at Chainlink, right i've mentioned this load now the reason why i mentioned it on chain link because i know it's undervalued this is an area of interest is tapped it pop right happy days good thing now again this is where it's been in the past. It is, in my opinion, undervalued still when you look at that Satoshi pair. Now, as I said, December, January, it was high dominance. That is how low it was, how low it was. So say, for example, you had Chainlink, you profited into Bitcoin and you were playing the game. The game is I shouldn't be in altcoins right now because the dominance is rising. Because the dominance is rising, these charts are going low now every single most charts not all of them it's an index we're looking low and i'll explain a few examples in a minute chain link was one right if you had a load of bitcoin and you sold into bitcoin and you were topping up again at the floors you're laughing why are you laughing because even though the usd side of it stayed relatively stable actually well did it, it went from 20 dollars down to about seven dollars at one point and obviously now we're at what 47 so yeah you will make some usd in that but at the end of the day, you make more in the Satoshi. So if you were buying down here in current live prices, you were 88% up on your buy odd in Bitcoin. Now, from that time period alone, Bitcoin's already done a 3x. <laughs> Ridiculous when you think about it. So as I say, don't worry about the Satoshi value of your USD. Worry about just the Satoshi values alone because you're making Bitcoin. You know, don't worry about the USD side of it. Anyways, if this does from that low order go up to there, you're basically making three three times your money, give or take, maybe even a bit more than that. It's a huge amount. When you consider the fact you've had profit and then you rebuy them back low, it's important to know this. This is how you stack Satoshis. So why do I think that people are doing it wrong? I personally believe that people are aping into it when half of the moves already been playing out. Okay. Yes, we're already up. It could still go higher with Chainlink. But if we're looking at other ones, let's look at the likes of Ethereum, right? Still, in my opinion, undervalued. We've tapped into this level, gone a bit higher. Who knows where it can go? But if I zoom out, you're going to see it. There's a monster move there potentially playing out. Now, again, if we go to the start of the year, this is where it was. It was really, really low. And again, if you're looking at current live prices right now and you were looking and you went, whoa, dominance is high. I've got Bitcoin. Ethereum looks quite good to grow some Bitcoin. Well, guess what? You know, if you're buying from those levels, that is a monster run. That's like 137% on top of your, you know, it's crazy. There's loads of them, right? Again, we'll look at Zillica. Zillica is popping off at the moment right now. Potential breakout to a nice clear run, but, you know, it's still, it could still go much higher. As I say, that could go even higher. And that was from the previous level. So there's definitely room for some of these coins to still grow. So I hope you're following, right? Does it make sense? You need to stop aping into them as altcoin season's going mental. You want to be discreetly just putting your bags in when those Satoshi levels are at their lowest. And again, more examples. Look at A, for example. Start of the year, down in those doldrums when dominance was at its highest. What a run that was. Look at that for a run. Boom. Every single coin has done it. Lows, boom. So we're talking about, oh, it's all season. Yes, it could go parabolic, but you've already missed half of it, which is why I kind of question some people. It's why I question them. I, yes, I know I look like a dickhead. Yes, I know I call people out on Twitter. But at the same time, people are telling people to ape into coins that are technically 4 or 5x up, especially with Cardano, right? Yes, I talk about undervalued coins in the BTC pair. And yes, I was saying $1,800 looks quite cheap for Ethereum. And people are like, what? It's all time high. Well, when you knew the fact that it could have run up much more on the BTC pair, that's where the value came from. So what next? You need to understand the mechanics. If you are holding this and you are seeing the dominant chart drop and drop and drop, 
and this is keep on rising gradually take partial profits put a little bit into bitcoin put a little bit into this that, and the other do whatever you want personally what i do i take little percentages off and put it into bitcoin i have three bitcoin wallets right i know i have one that i don't touch so money that just goes in only doesn't go out simple number two well number two is a wallet that i will put back into the market so basically like for example with this if i put a percentage of say like card on all right made a lot of money happy days put it into a wallet i can then use that money again when the dominance chart goes high and this goes back low again i can do it again winner because that dominance chart it happens all the time there will always be times where bitcoin is going to thrash the old coins there's always going to be time where old coins will thrash bitcoin it's just the way it goes doesn't matter what market bull or bear it happened two or three times a year now my third wallet is a yield wallet now on swissborg simply because they've got the yield and that is just passive income happy days so there's three winner winner but the principle is simple you should be looking to take partial profit when these altcoins are going berserk free bitcoin you should be buying when they're low when no one's interested when you're getting slaughtered and as i say when this happens and it drops into bitcoin season you will be bleeding out satoshis and one final thing you can see it here this was the last you know the from the previous last alt season when it happened that was what was happening essentially pretty crazy imagine losing all those satoshis Ooh, it hurts yes you've reclaimed them but at the same time if you bought and you were looking at your portfolio thinking oh, i'm up in usd i'm up in usd and you toggle to the btc side ooh, it's going to be painful anyways hope you enjoy